She's still not that girl. I don't even have time for my love life. I'm like absolutely exhausted. Smart people walk fast. Feeling pretty on top of the world right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, my best friend is doing a day in my life, which has been requested since we did her doing my morning routine probably a year ago now. Today, we're gonna do an entire day in my life. So we're doing morning, workout, chores, work, meals. I'm the cook of our friendship, so she's making every single meal for me today. Subscribe if you guys are new here, and let's get started. All right guys, it is currently 7 a.m. I told Dom she needs to be ready by 7 and dressed to go walk the trail. Dominique! Oh, look who it is. Good to see you. Are you excited? Yeah, so excited. You are? Look at your little workout outfit. I didn't have a matching set. So I just tried to wear all oh, of Oh, cute. This is just not okay. Like, are you okay? I feel great. Um, like, do you realize, like, how early it is? Seven is not even early. People who work normal nine to fives are gonna be like, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, the first thing I do every morning is to take the dogs out. That'll be your first chore. Let's go, come on. Are you guys tired? I think they wanna go, they said they wanna go back to bed. They wake They're up. They're like, I only get up because my mom gets up this early. Dom, how did it go? It was very chill, very baller. Once again, this time of day uh -huh. is not when I'm at my, like, most highest performing. Got it. Well, now, the last thing you have to do is feed the dogs, and then we're ready to go to our workout, which is a nice walk on the trail. I'm not even having you do, like, Pilates. Praise God. I don't cook. I don't clean. Just motherly duties. And look at her water bottle. I'm not saying I'm Kenzie Elizabeth, but I'm also not saying I'm not Kenzie Elizabeth. Yay! <laughs> You're being me, Dom, not you. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, Dom is driving my car. We're going to Katie Trail. I'm in the car, I always have the Yeehaw Bops 2.0 playlist on. Dom, it's Thursday, which means I have a new podcast episode that goes up. So today, now we promote it. So now, how are you gonna promote this episode? Um, Trey Lewis, we got Dick Down in Dallas singer, mental health. Literally, I'm not kidding you guys. One of the best men I know. This episode is going to be life-changing. He's such a multifaceted person. I think so highly of him. <laughs> Go I give it a listen. You can watch on YouTube as well. Dawn comes in the intro. I'm in the intro and I have a lot of things to say. Yeah. So go listen. Okay, you guys, we just got to the KD trail and this is like my most favorite trail in the whole entire world. It's so beautiful. Come on, Dom. Let's go. Hurry up. You're so, hurry up. Hurry. Like, no. <laughs> hurry up. Like, hurry up. Look at her. She can't even keep up. Like, honestly, I'm not even running. Like, this is just how I walk. And she's so freaking slow. I'm gonna leave her behind because she needs to learn. This is normally how fast I freaking walk. Can't even keep up. But she's all the way back there. I'm just gonna have to leave her. Smart people walk fast. Taking her sweet, beautiful time. All right, Dom, how are you feeling? Good. You should have been wearing a Rub Winning Housewife trucker. Do you understand why like starting your morning like this just feels right? Yes, like I can start to piece it together. Mm -hmm. Usually I wake up around 10, 11, give myself three hours to get all my work done. This, you have the whole rest of your day ahead of you. So true. And I think that's beautiful. He's wearing this matching set that I got set last night. It's perfect in every way. And I read like 30 books last night. I read so much. Like my Kindle died and I had to charge it again. Cause I read so many books last night. Nice. But once again, so many. I should probably get two Kindles. When my Kindle dies from reading so many books, I could just power on the other Kindle. Someone just texted me, Dom, and we're gonna meet someone for drinks at 9.30. Yeah, no, like, it'll be fine. It'll be, no, it'll be really good for us. Like, I'm not missing a week. I love my weekends in Dallas. Love my days in Dallas. I'm not gonna miss an opportunity to hang out with my friends. So yeah, we're getting drinks, 9.30, 9 p.m. Be ready. This is what being a breadwinning housewife is all about. You pay your bills, you work out, and you get drinks in the morning and at night because you celebrate yourself. I don't know if that's what it is. How do you feel? That was good, that was good. I'm proud of you. Probably good for the membrane. It feels so nice having someone drive you around everywhere, cook all of your meals. That walk was just super easy and really felt like nothing. Like I, I was ready to do a Pilates class after that. Uh -huh. This is where you and I differ. This is where I would go back to bed, to bed and take a nap. You started your day an hour ago. It'll be fine. Okay, so this is where you like set the vibe of the morning. So you need to light some candles. I always like straighten up, clean up the place, and then I make some breakfast. You wouldn't know this because this is when you're sleeping. I like to play like a morning jazz playlist. So if you could find one of those. Spotify has some great options. This stuff? Oh, that's perfect. Jazz for Autumn, that's one of my go-tos. This doesn't make you want to fall asleep. No, it just gives me so much energy. Kind of a snooze fest, don't you think? Mm. 
Now it is breakfast time. What I've been making you the past week is a sauerkraut bacon hash. It's like literally the easiest thing you can make. Sauerkraut bacon. I use like an entire jar. I cook this separately. I like saute that with coconut oil. It takes a little bit longer than you would think. And then I add the bacon in after. But you cook all of it together and that's enough for us too. Well, I'm gonna go change so I'll leave you to the breakfast for a second. Oh, there we go. Good job. This is really hard. Kenzie said to wear sleeves because, you know, bacon be popping. Welcome to cooking with Dom. I just think it's always good to start things off with honesty. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Do I ever cook? No, I don't. Fitz is coming into frame because he's like, this bitch is in the kitchen and she never cooks. Kenzie told me to use coconut oil to saute the sauerkraut and olive oil to cook the bacon in because health is wealth. That's what Kenzie Elizabeth believes. That is what I'm channeling today. I put like that much coconut oil. I don't know if that's right. If this place burns down, you as my witness, not my fault. Someone has to do the cooking. And right now it looks like that's Right now, that's what everything's looking like. I mean, not much has changed, but it's fine. We're making it work. I think you're killing it, Dom. Sauerkraut's smelling good. Yes. I got your present. You did? Close your eyes. Put your hands off. Oh! Here you go, Kenzie. Yep. This is me every day. I can speak for you. It feels really great to be served. I love this for me. How's it going? And then we also clean up the kitchen. Don't forget that, Dom. How can I forget? I'm more of a like clean as you go kind of person. I am. Cleaning as I go. Please you call it. It's time to go get ready for the I'm day. Just, I'm just gonna be like brutally honest with you. I'm like absolutely exhausted and floored. Like I'm and exhausted. It's 9.30. Your day hasn't even started. I know, like everyone has different capacities uh -huh. and I'm just recognizing mine right now. That's uh -huh. what I'm gonna say. Okay, well you need to get actually ready for today. I'm gonna let you take the camera. <laughs> Stop, I can't carry on like this anymore. It's just like, do you ever take breaks? Or does it ever? Today is just gonna be a normal like work from home day. Nothing crazy for Dom. So she's gonna go get ready. For dinner tonight we have a crock pot meal. So you are gonna have to start on that like within the next hour because it needs to stay in there for eight hours. It's like a crock pot meal thing. A lot of it's just gonna be computer work though. So that's gonna be good. Maybe a little bit of organizing, some dog stuff, you know? The famous Kenzie Elizabeth mirror. Kenzie said I have to get full ready, so. How Kenzie is this outfit? I'm literally wearing juicy tracksuit pants. I stole her UGG slippers. I'm ready to get this bread. But look how cute it would have been if I had the matching jacket. But I mean, it's still pretty cute. The pants and the UGGs, very cozy. Look who it is. Oh, are you wearing juicy? Have you ever used a crock pot before? No. Do you know what a crock pot is? No. I already got it out for you, it's over there. It's really big. You're gonna make beef stroganoff today, okay? So you're gonna add all the ingredients, you put that in the slow cooker, which we're using a crock pot, same thing. Stir, then you're gonna cook on low for eight hours. That's literally it. So you have salt, honey, canned coconut milk, mushrooms, carrots sliced, a cup of broth, thyme, and one pound beef stew meat. So you just put it all there, let it simmer for eight hours. It's, that, it's actually that easy. I'm a little nervous, but if you believe in me, I believe in you. I think you can do it. I think it's important. I believe in myself. Do you like take a nap break? I don't take naps, Dom. This isn't even the work portion of the day. I you hadn't even started working yet. This is this feels like work. The other thing is you need to listen to my favorite podcast, so I'll have this plan. What about next time we Which do my me. routine? You know, I want to be the person. You know, I would love that, Dom, but there's just like not a routine to do. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Kenzie told me to brown the meat, and I don't know what that means. So every like one to two minutes, I just start violently stabbing the crock pot in hopes that it works and I don't fail my boss. Also to me, it's just like, if you want it to be good, just don't put me in the kitchen. I realized that the crock pot wasn't even on and nothing was happening. Turned it on and now I'm browning things. I really just need to like talk to the camera really quick. I want you guys to understand that I'm like absolutely exhausted. I haven't even started work yet. This morning I maybe like, I really quickly like sent off some emails before we 
went on the trail the idea and the thought of looking at my computer makes me like nauseous i want you guys to know that right now i'm closing my eyes because i'm so tired like that's literally how tired i am like right now i could i could fall asleep like this and every time like i just am like waiting for a moment for like Kenzie to step away so that I can just like, like lay on the couch like I need a nap I need you guys to understand that I'm absolutely dying right now okay, so that looks absolutely disturbing on camera but I'm browning the meat I don't even know what that means I'm also coming to the realization that it's 10:50 right now in the next hour or so it's going to be 12 and then one which means that I'll probably have to start making lunch soon. Does this bitch ever just stop cooking, you know? I do think that it's okay to order DoorDash. You know, like allow a meal to be cooked for you. Like cooking everything is just, it's too much. It's really, it's too much. Anyways, here's the finished product. Well, not the finished product, but now it's gonna be like this and it's gonna cook like this for eight hours, which is insane to me. Dom? Yes. Are you okay? No. Like I'm opening up my computer to start work and I'm like, like I don't want to anymore. I really do think it's normal and okay, Kenzie, to order meals. I normal I order meals a lot, but I am also cooking every single meal today. It's just like I don't think you knew how much like it's like we we freaking woke up at 7 a.m. Which actually that means I, I had to wake up at 6 55 five <laughs> minutes to get my clothes on. Oh wow I'm so sorry. Then get walk upstairs 7 a.m. Wow, okay, then I had a freaking work out Oh, wow, then I had to freaking make breakfast and I also had to clean when I got in uh -huh. Then I had to make this and shower and put on makeup. Oh wow And it's like and now I'm about to like start work. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. I would just now I'll be getting up. I am exhausted. I have about maybe one hour of work in me today. You're doing a day in my life, so you have a full day of work, actually. It's just like so ridiculous. I don't know how you're not pat, you don't pass out. Since Dom said I don't do anything fun and all I do is work and cook and work out, we're going to Sephora. And we might get a juice after. A fun day. A really healthy green juice, Dom. You gotta get the Instagram stories for the potential thumbnails, Dom. Wait, why was I driving? You should have been driving. First thing, the glow sunscreen from uh, Super Goop. Super not to be confused with Goop Gwyneth Paltrow. Not the same not? thing. Not the same thing. Did she make it? Nope. Totally different companies. Wait, are you serious? Next, we have whatever this is. The best self tanner ever, the Ashley Graham Sandra Bay. Clearly can't relate. Olaplex gift set. I'll have all this linked down below, by the way. This Dior lip addict. Way body cream, rare beauty concealer, rare beauty foundation. Stay vulnerable. It's a blush. And that is the haul to the wall. And that too. Now it's noon. And so Dom actually has meetings. I have therapy. So we're gonna separate for a bit. Dom's gonna, you know, like work a little bit and then I'm gonna come home and lunch will be served. Does this make you appreciate me more to know how much I do on a daily basis now? Yeah, I just also don't know how to cook. It's like literally a one pan meal, it's so easy. All right, let's get back home. See, I told you guys, you weren't there for my video that I made where I had a breakdown. I had a very vulnerable moment in the kitchen, you guys. Kenzie wasn't there, but you guys were. So I'm gonna head off to therapy. You're going to work because normally I would be working. Have you thought about like coffee? No, but I, I drink coffee. I thought about death. Well, first off, this black box needs to go downstairs. And then around this time I would be working and then I would be making you lunch within the next hour. I don't know how to make lunch. I'm gonna give you directions. It's like the easiest thing you're gonna do all day. Hi, you guys. Okay, so my lashes are all clumped together right now and that's because I've been crying. And you're probably like, oh my gosh, Dom, why were you crying? I had meetings. Kenzie has a lot of meetings. I broke down because I'm just so exhausted. No, I'm just kidding. One of my meetings was really emotional. It just got real. Just girly things, just breadwinner things, just girl boss things. This is the beef stroganoff. It still has 20 
24 hours to cook just kidding it has like five hours left to cook so that's swag but kenzie wanted me to make salmon i've never made salmon before i've never seasoned salmon before i'm honestly quite scared i didn't realize how much this this girly cat cooks i have to cook the salmon with carrots i don't even know how many carrots see she's actually not good at giving me directions we are so healthy i'm not seasoning the salmon and carrots because hear me out i don't know how she likes her salmon i don't know how she likes her carrots and she said i could just do salt and pepper but like how much salt and pepper i don't know everyone's preferences are different i'm wearing the most kenzie outfit ever i couldn't find the matching juicy jacket so i'm wearing my skims hoodie and i'm wearing ugg slippers juicy track pants and a skims hoodie which is pretty mother forking kenzie elizabeth if you ask me kenzie's probably expecting this like gorgeous cooked like salmon meal i hate to be the bearer of bad news but it's like if you wanted a gorgeous salmon meal then you should have just cooked it yourself because that's kind of not what i'm providing today especially considering the fact that i just learned what a crock pot was today i'm pretending i'm emma chamberlain right now i watch her videos and she's just such a peaceful woman oh my god i almost cut off my acrylic i have no problem buying like store-bought frozen carrots from trader joe's you know what i'm saying like that does not scare me i don't think i'm a above frozen food i'm humble you guys this is actually kind of peaceful i can't lie so she said just to put like the carrots and salmon all together i'm assuming like that if not i'm gonna feel freaking stupid i can't afford to get kicked out of kenzie's house i refuse to mess anything up so that's why i didn't season the food at all which is very counter my culture black culture you guys get it we season our food okay i changed my mind i am going to season it because that's just stupid showtime people just put the salmon in the oven everyone prayers up so the salmon turned out beautiful does that not look like an artisanal roast this is the stew i'm not lifting the lid on the stew and checking on it because i watched a great british baking show and when you're steaming something they said it's a big no-no to lift the lid so i'm just you know following after the experts and i'm not gonna lift the lid actually i'm really proud about the salmon because it looks forking gorgeous back from therapy to a lunch made for me honestly dom you live the life you really truly live the dream why would dom not accept her trip yeah no it's suddenly it's all making sense time to do laundry now i'm not gonna make dom do my laundry but she is gonna carry the laundry basket that's upstairs. literally the hardest part of doing your laundry that's so actually the only part of your laundry that's hard i see kenzie struggle up these stairs like you need an elevator shoe this is really hard honestly that's the best part about having a boyfriend is not having to do that or have your best friend do your morning routine. Yeah, it's a genius video idea. I'm getting all my meals made today. This needs to go in the garbage. Time for a break. Go. No, you didn't check on the plants I while I was gone. I checked on the plants while you were gone and they're dead. No, they're not, Dom. So I think it, really these are normal towards. I do this I, every day. It would just be best and beneficial if we just let the pants die. They've lived their natural life. They've gone through the courses that they needed to go through, and now it's time to let it go. Okay, so I'm actually realizing, so it rained really hard last night. This one's overflowing, and the soil's actually like really, really wet. I'm literally not making this up. I don't want to overwater her plants. For the sake of just, you know, being safe and not ruining Kenzie's plants, I'm not gonna water them, but I'm gonna tell her like, hey, your plants are like, all of it's like filled with water. I forgot it rained last night. I'll make sure to relay this information onto her, but they look great. Kenzie, mm -hmm. I'm I didn't water your plants. And it's because it rained last night. Oh, you got lucky. I got lucky, and here's the thing. I didn't want to overwater them. Oh, no, I totally get that. And get fired. Uh-huh. Because if I were to get fired right now, I just don't really, would ha I wouldn't have a place to go. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, Kenzie, well, it's all right with you. I think, you know, we've gotten so many amazing things done today. I think it would be really good if we packed, it, packed up shop. No, Don, it's 3 p.m. Like, you're, like, halfway through the day. What do you mean halfway through? Like, there's things to do. All right, Dom, time to go to the trash. These are things I do every single day. I'm hoping I get a thank you note from her after this video. Hey, guys. Just coming to you live from hell. Just took out the trash, and now I'm going to do dishes. I 
I just like, there's no balance. I don't even have time for my love life anymore. Well, everyone, it's dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. It smells good. Yeah, it smells really good, Dom. Beef stroganoff. I'm ready. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty healthy. All right, ready? Dom, it's really good. Oh, thank it you. honestly is. Good job. Thank you, chef. Kenzie, I was thinking, you know, since I'm you today, I was thinking like, how fun would it be if we had a little sleepover and we and we and I got to sleep in your bed tonight. I'll think about that. Notice how I'm doing your job, so maybe the best off. Like what that? Well, it's about you know seven on the dot. That's usually when Kenzie retires for the day. Which may actually you going to bed super early makes has never made more sense until now. I don't go to sleep until like 10.30 probably, but I read for like a few hours. Sometimes I go to bed at like midnight. I also don't know how you just like, as soon as you get into bed, you don't instantly just like, then I hit the ground, boom. I lay in bed, I read and- Like right now so... I'm like- Oh really? Next up. Oh my God. Do you not feel claustrophobic in this? Mm -mm. So then you turn it on. So during this time, I will watch TikToks. Oh, the best part of my day right here. I just came back from the dead and I don't want to say, she's still not that girl. I just want to say that like, honestly, everything about today was extremely difficult extremely hard nothing about it came easy nothing about today was easy except right here i just have known peace now do you understand why i look forward to it every day and oh and then he sits he'll sit right on top of you yep oh yep all right time was off how do you feel i was just ready to keep it going oh yeah i figured oh my gosh you still have a candle all day i like candles throughout the day 24 7 what are you even doing three two swag i haven't touched one of these since i was in eighth grade. I read the summary of the book, so it seems really beautiful. I also read the cover page, so I think I'm ready for bed now. Feel ready for bed now at, bed. at 6 p.m.? Yeah, also Hawkeye messaged me on Hinge, so I'm, you know, feeling pretty on top of the world right now. Oh, you are? You ignore those messages, yeah, so of course I do. I'll go to bed ignoring them too, to be in the spirit of you, Kenzie. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Good night, Dom. Hey, I'm gonna miss you, bud. Miss you. You know, I've Bye. always realized there's enough room oh. for two. Bye. So Dom finished doing a day in my life. How are you feeling? It was really fucking hard. How would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? One out of zero out of 10. What was your favorite part? Sitting down and getting to watch TikTok. What was the least favorite part? Everything. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Dom doing a day in my life. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Comment below what video you guys want us to film next. We love you guys so much. What if we film next? Kenzie going on a date. That I think so that would be really good. Comment down below if you want to see What if me I told you I've fallen in love and get, I can't go on a date? Shut the hell up. <laughs> what if, comment down below if you want to see me get Kenzie ready to go on a first date. Ta-ta. Bye. He was like, well, I hate the song, but he's like real religious. And he was like, but I love you. And he was like, I just want what's best for you and all this stuff. And I was just, for me, with my story, it's really cool because here you have this song that's, you know, explicit and all this stuff. And it's funny. And it is definitely part of my personality. Like...